Today on Zoom. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go. Is this right? Is this your stuff? You guys do it. You guys just stay in the line. You guys have to stay in the line. Stay in the line. They look like this. Pretty groovy, huh? Hobo! 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 Double yellow cover! Love you! Love you! Hobo! I can just pull this baby out. Get in the way. Basketball is not my physical gift. Physical gift? What are you talking about? Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The Arthur Vining Davis Foundation. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! Welcome to Zoom. We here at Zoom don't think feet get enough credit for all the hard work they do. Think of all the places your feet take you. So we've decided to dedicate today's show to feet. And the first game we're going to play is called Smelly Shoes. Email to us by Christine S. of Berea, Ohio. Okay, everyone gets a partner. So Buzz, Francis, and Kaylee are all blindfolded. Okay. And Rachel, Eric, and Caroline have to take off their shoes and put them in a pile. Uh, to play, you guys who are blindfolded have to find your partner's shoes and put them on their feet. Your partner can help guide you, but they're not allowed to touch their own shoes. The first pair who are done first wins. Their partners are Caroline and Kaylee, All right. Francis and Eric, okay. and Rachel and Buzz. Right. Can you guys right. ready? Are, are the shoes, wait, 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 are the yeah. shoes, where are they? Your partner's in the yes. in front of you. They're, oh, no, right. we can't do anything. We can't do it. On your mark. Get set. Go! Is this right? Is this right? You guys can't see the line. You guys can't see the line. This one. This one. This This one. 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 This Buzz is searching for Rachel's second shoe. Oh, and Buzz already has Rachel's second shoe. And Eric's getting his second shoe on. Oh! Let's see who finished second. So, Kaylee and Caroline won. First. I first. Good job. a fun way to turn ordinary socks into these groovy tie-dye socks. Cat A of Yuma, Arizona emailed us the directions. Here's what you'll need. Some fabric dye, a disposable pan, and a plastic spoon. The dye can stain, so be sure everything you use is disposable. Some rubber gloves so your hands don't get covered with dye. Some white cotton socks that have already been washed soaked in water and wrung out, and some thick elastic. First, 
Cover the area you're working on with newspaper. Then, dissolve the dye package in warm water according to the directions on the back of the package. Now for the tie-dyeing part. To make stripes, wrap several elastics around your sock very tightly. So, wrap this around here. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four stripes in my sock. There we go. Make sure it's really tight or the stripes won't come out as well. There we go. Okay. To make circles, pinch a section of your sock and tie it with an elastic. So, here I'm going to pinch this part of the sock, right there. And I'll tie it like this. There we go. One more time. Here. Make it really tight. Okay. There. Now, put on your rubber gloves. Oops, my pinky finger stuff. Okay. And the other one. Get in there. Okay, there we go. Now, dip your socks into the dye. Here. Make, here, actually, I'll start with this one. Dip middle in yellow. Ooh. You want to leave your socks in the dye for about a minute. Okay. In there. Squeeze it out. There we go. Now I'll wring it out. There. Here. I'll dip the ends in the pink. Ooh. There we go. Wow, this looks really cool. There. Okay. Now, up here. And now, these. Here. Here's a really cool way to do this. If you grab the circles, like this, and dunk the other section of the sock in one color, I'll do it in yellow. There. I'll bring that out. And then, put the circles in a different color. So here, put them in the pink. Wow. Really neat. Okay. And now, lay your socks on the newspaper to dry. There. After your socks are dry, run them under cold water to rinse them. Take okay. these rubber gloves off. Okay. There we go. Here are some that are already dry. You take the elastics off. They look whoops, like this. Pretty groovy, huh? Make sure that you wash your socks separately from the rest of your clothes the first few times that you wash them, just in case the dye runs a little bit. You can also tie-dye other things using these techniques, like pillowcases, t-shirts, and napkins. Try it at home. Hi, my friends. I was yabble wobble until rubbin' rubber double wobbin. Yabble nubby bubby. I'll be rubby double rubby rubbin' rubby shabby. Get us puppet dub em up on. I've been yabble wobble number rubby. I'll be rubby rubby shabby. Ever since I was three. The dancing that I do is tap ballet and jazz. 
Tap is my favorite kind of dance. The difference between the regular shoe and the tap shoe is the tap shoe has metal plates on the bottom, which makes a sound. I learn new steps by watching the older girls. I just watch them and I try to do it myself. And what started me with the dancing was watching old movies and Broadway dance shows. I tap everywhere I go. I even tap at the grocery store when I'm with my mom. I'll start skipping and doing all these crazy things. I don't know why, I don't know how, I just do it. <laughs> If you wanted to try tapping for the kids out there who really want to, then you should try it because it's really fun. You don't even need tap shoes. You can do it with your bare feet on the floor, wherever you are. I think my feet are instruments because I can make them play any beat I hear. Like, for instance, Musical patterns are such a part of tap. This is a slow rhythm. This is a medium rhythm. This is a fast rhythm. And that is a musical pattern. I have a lot of dreams. One dream that I want to come true is for me to get straight A's to go off to college and be a good dance teacher and open up my own studio. But for now, I'm going to keep on dancing. <laughs> okay, Zoomers, are you ready for today's Zoom Side Challenge? It was sent in by Anita E. of Fresno, California. See this grid? It has six squares going this way and six squares going that way for a total of 36 squares. Here's Anita's challenge. A player thinks of a repeating pattern. The pattern could be to start in this square and take one step forward and one to the left, one step forward and one to the left. See how it repeats? One step forward, one to the left, forward, left, and forward. Stop. Players keep doing this until they reach a square in this row. I drew the pattern on a smaller grid to show you what it looks like. See? One step forward and one to the left. Forward, left. Forward, left. Forward, left, and forward. See how it repeats? Once a player thinks of a pattern, then the other players have to try to guess what it is. But, if you move into the wrong square, then you have to move into the square that you came from. We're going to use orange plates to mark our paths. We already came up with a bunch of patterns. I'm going to go first. Everybody, close your eyes. Okay. All right. This is my pattern. Okay, Eric, why don't you be the first to guess? All right, cool. So, I'll put down my pad and I'll get the oxygen. Get some plate marks. Get a bunch of plates. And don't forget, if you go in the wrong one, you go back. Yep. That's sure. fine. So, where do you end? Where does it end? Yeah, where do I end? You end right here. The All corner. Right. So, I'm just going to go to my left. Perfect. All right, so. I'm going to go to nope. step there, I don't Nope, not over. Okay. How about Ford? Good. Wow, good, good job. job. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take another step forward. Nope. <laughs> Two my left. Yep. Okay. 
one, two. Can you go see left, a pattern there? Kind of. Left, left one, up one, then left one. Yep. What if I did diagonally? Nope. That's not Go that. back. How about another four? Yep. And now you can see oh, the pattern? Yeah, now I can see it. So, if I follow that pattern, then I go last one. Yep. Then forward. Yep. Wow, good job. Good. Then well, you just like the pattern. Yep. Like Wait, are you doing that? Yep. 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 And forward. Yep. You got it. Great job. Wow. That's really a good looking pattern. I know. That was hard from the start, Bye. though. <laughs> Your ending point is going to be right in that square. Okay. Diagonal. Okay. Nope. Oh. No, go back. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think I'm going to left. And I think you're going to go back. <laughs> um, then I'm going up. Exactly. Precisely. Oh, cool. <laughs> Am I going up again? No. <laughs> Am I going across? What do you mean? Time. Exactly. I am? Yes, you are. Oh, I thought you were kidding. No. Are oh, you going to go exactly wrong? Do I go up one? <gasps> no. No. Oh. Left. There you go. <laughs> huh? Now, now what? Up one, diagonal left. Up one? Exactly. Good job. Diagonal. Perfect. Left. <gasps> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Then up one. Okay. Great yeah. job. Oh, that was awesome, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay, friends. Okay. So where's friends is going to end? Okay. Here? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks. Um, Let's see. Do I go forward? Mm, no. Do I go diagonally? No. Do so I go left? Yes. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, do I go forward now? Do I go diagonally the other way? Which way? Um, to the right. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Don't get it, but... I know. Diagonally now? No. Forward? No. Left? So Okay. No. Now do I go diagonally right? Yeah. Yep, she is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then you give me first. Now I get left. And I go diagonally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I go left. Mm-hmm. Diagonally. Wow. Mm -hmm. You got it, friend. Left. Yep. Diagonally. Good job. Yep. Okay. It was yeah. hard. Put the last it was hard. Well, it's kind of weird, but that interesting. Left diagonally, left diagonally, left diagonally. Try this at home. Think of a repeating pattern and challenge your friends to guess it. You don't have to make a huge grid on the floor like we did. You can just make two grids on paper, like these. One with the pattern so that you can remember it, and one that's blank so that your friends can guess it. If you come up with some great patterns, send them to Zoom. You've got to send us emails. Send us a Zoom. that we do love to play with friends. Everyone takes off their shoes and places them in a big pile. Next, sit in a circle and hook your arms together. Without unhooking your arms, find your shoes, put them on, and tie them as fast as you can. Nina and Gina S. of Wheeling, Illinois. Okay. Guys, I, I think I have a strategy before we start. Go ahead, Kate. I think we should um, try to find our own shoes and then the two people next to you so we can help each other. But it, I think if we helped everyone, like one at a time, it would be too slow. Oh, that's, that's a really okay. good idea. Ready? Let's go. So search, okay. for those, search for those shoes. Search for your own shoes. I think I have mine. Well, make sure you stay linked. 
Oh yeah, I got it. You have to stay away. I think this is mine. Oh, I found. I found, I found one of my shoes. Oh, I found them. Okay, this is somebody's. It's not mine. I'm not sure if this is my shoe or not. I think that might be mine. One second, Caroline has something to say. Okay. Well, now we have our own shoes, and Frances is working on putting hers on. on. We'll first get hers on, and, we'll we'll and then we'll all tie them. And then we'll all tie them. I almost Ooh. have all mine oh, on. No, mine oh, no, no, no. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, oh, my gosh. Do you see what Kenny did? What? He's out of a really good stretch. Let's what? just show them really yeah, quickly. Yeah, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Ready? Okay. Watch. Me, that. And Ken, me and Kenny pulled. Then I, we switched laces. I, I went under. And then I finished then we it up. down. And then we let... Eric, finish. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So will you do that for no, my no. sentence? Right. Sure. Pull. No. I'll pull that under. Uh-oh. Ready? Pull. Try again. Switch. I'll go underneath. Go underneath. Up here. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, the yeah, other yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So who has this already done? I do. Okay. Kenny does. Okay. So I'm Kenny does. I'm off. All right. Can somebody try this one for me? I will. <laughs> this is cool. Is that one almost done? Yeah, I did it as fast as I could. I know. Yeah. 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 Good job. 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 Good Yeah, Kaylee? What kind of shoes do mice wear? I don't know. Squeakers. <laughs> Squeakers. of Bernardsville, New Jersey, heard that there was a war in Kosovo and many people had to leave their home. So she made health kits by wrapping a toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, and shampoo in a towel. Her health kits were then delivered to the people in Kosovo by the pastor from her church. Way to go, Alexandra. There are lots of things you can do to become a member of the Zoom team. Hold a bake sale to raise money for charity, collect canned goods for a food bank, or volunteer your time to clean up a park in your neighborhood. Zoom into action! Zoom into action! And join the Zoom team! Hi, my name is Colin Dickinson, and I invented Slugger 4000. This machine, it helps you practice baseball without someone pitching it to you. And this is portable, and you can just play with it mostly anywhere. The way this works is, on this lever underneath here, there's a little pipe that's up through this. So when I step on the lever, the little pipe goes up through here and hits the ball. The best thing about it is, I don't need anybody around. So, I can just pull this baby out and bam, hit it away. In today's Zoom Playhouse, we have a very special performance entitled, Time Out. Written by Hans H. of Cookville, Tennessee. Jonathan Faldo? Yeah, too bad. All our players just have five that fouls out of the game. And you're one of those five. Get out there. But coach, 
When I joined the team, I really wasn't expecting to play. What? I just wanted to be part of the team. You know, sit on the bench, wave the towel, listen to you during timeouts, look good in the uniform. Uh, I don't believe this. This is the most important game of the year. I know. Then get out there. But we might lose if I go out there. Basketball is not my physical gift. Physical gift? What are you talking about? Now, sitting on the bench, waving the towel, those are my physical gifts. I don't care what your physical gifts are. Get out there. Now, hold on a second. Who do you think you are? Um, I'm your coach. Remember? I can't believe it. I show up for most of the practices. I come to all the games. I keep track of the score. I never get in anybody's way. And you have the colossal nerve to tell me to play? Hey, coach, I bet you're a good basketball player. Why don't you play? What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I am a pretty good basketball yeah. player. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I will play. Yeah. Go, coach. Want to make your next party zoomy? To help you plan your celebration, go to Zoom Party at the Zoom website, pbskids.org, or America Online keyword, PBS Kids. become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. If you need fun ideas for your next Halloween party, then check out the party section of the Zoom website at pbskids.org. You'll find cool cakes to bake, yummy snacks to munch on, fun games to play, and printable Zoom party invitations. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston.